Good morning, everyone. Miriam Pinellas with Chasidus' Medicine. Today's the 33rd day of the Omer. It's Lag Omer in Hebrew for 33. And the divine attribute of today is Hod Sheba Hod. And we've been defining Hod as humility. Uh, Rabbi Shaif Taub said that this is, today is Hod squared. So this is a multiplication and magnification of all the attributes of Hod, which is splendor and gratitude and humility. This is associated with the left leg. Today is the today's date also marks the passing of the great, great sage and Kabbalist Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the author of the Zohar, the Kabbalistic work of Judaism and the source of the beautiful Hasidus that we study, that we live by, that we heal by, and the way we get to know ourselves, our true selves, our soul selves, how to finding the purpose and the meaning and the map of how to live this life. Um, the Lubavitcher Rebbe said that this was a day um, the Rebbe suggested to go to the Ohel where Rebbe Shimon is present and where one can pray for all of one's needs in abundance, whatever a person's needs, um, whether it's a, um, a spouse or children or livelihood or health, so on and so forth. Today is a very auspicious day of prayer. And I also find as I sit in this day, and it's just a magnificent day to be present, not just for what we can receive, um, but for what we become, become aware and conscious of today, with the power beaming down I was reading this morning a book by the Balvavi called Getting to Know Your Soul. And the author writes that for a Jewish, a Jewish person, their primary consciousness is that their soul, that their neshama, their body is, their gar is the garment, the vessel carrying the soul. And that we're not, right, and these are not his words, but the common, common saying is we are not physical beings having a spiritual experience. No, we are spiritual beings have a having a physical experiences and the Vavavi says this is not hard it's a sh it's a change it could be a change of perspective shifting one's identity what i identify with what i align with and you we get to choose to come back to this consciousness throughout the day the mitzvahs we do the reminders the reminders of my true self my true experience in this world and through those actions i i become more awakened to that reality and so this is a day of stepping into that too it's a day of it's a day of pleasure it's a day of light and it's a day of great great potential of healing where things can be overturned and so let's all pray together for this grand ultimate healing we are all waiting for always for for all of us in mind body and soul and to stay, in, so we're in this hod behold, we're in the humility of humility. The left leg, a water bottle fell on my foot today, on my left foot today, and I was so happy about it. Because for me, it was a great grounding moment. I had left the Ohel, Baruch Hashem, and came home and thought, wait, how am I gonna take all this mystic and wonder into my, and go back into my regular, my everyday life? Um, it was a pull. I didn't want to leave and that water bottle fell on my left leg and it was beautiful, divinely ordained to remind me to take all this glory and this pleasure and this wonder and the deep, deep secrets and make it practical. Bring it into the body, bring it into my everyday life, my interactions, stay humble, stay slow, stay grateful because um, this is the path. This is the path of life. Wishing you all a very, very blessed day. Lots of joyful, uplifting moments, healing moments on our way to our ultimate healings.